Let me see, get Scott here to get to it. Um, I wanted to ask you why you and your husband, back in March of 2008, um, accepted and participated in a very large IPO deal from Visa. At a time, there was major uh, legislation affecting the credit card companies making its way through the um, through the house. And well, did you consider that to be a conflict of interest? I, I don't know what your point is of your question. Is there some point that you want to make with that? Well, I, I guess what I'm asking is, do you think it's all right for uh, a speaker uh, to accept uh, a very preferential, favorable uh, stock deal? Well, we didn't. At a time, but that or, isn't at a the time case. when there's major legislation yeah. affecting that company in the House. Well, first of all, let me say this. Uh, what we're talking about is an industry. What we're talking about is a Congress that passed more uh, protections for credit card holders. The stock bill, you know, Carolyn Malone tried to defeat her last time. So the issue that you're talking about, first of all, what you're contending is not true. But second of all, we are very proud of our record of what happened. Now, what Congressman or Senator Durbin was able to do in the Senate is quite remarkable. And when he was able to achieve that, then it was uh, on this same issue. It was included by our Chairman Barney Frank in the bill. So, it, yeah, yeah, no, but it's when we had a president who could sign the bill. And that's when we passed what Carolyn Maloney had. There was no interest on the part of, of President uh, Bush to sign such a bill. But the fact is, your basic premise is a false one, and it's no use our spending any more time. You participated in the IPO. Well, I have many and investments, but I don't. The house, and there was a bill uh, very unfavorable to the credit card companies working. But I will hold them. my record in terms of fighting the credit card companies as a speaker of the house or as a member of Congress uh, up against anyone's. We have passed the credit card holder bill of rights. I, I don't know what your point is. You like one bill better than another bill? No, this was the big powerful bill, and in fact. We were able to achieve both once we were able to have a Democratic president. That's really all I'm going to say. No, it, it was not. It, it only has appearance if you decide that you're going to have a, a, a elaborate on a false premise. But it, it, it's not true, and that's that. And what part's not true? Yes, sir. Um, that I, that I would act upon an investment. Yes, sir. It's now been 